next is the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division matchup. So here she is, the UFC strawweight queen, Zhang Wei Li, has that first defense out of the way now. It was an epic clash with Juan of Jacek, a fight that eventually will find its way into the UFC Hall of Fame. And you gotta think a lot of valuable championship experience gained that night for Zhang Wei Li. There are a lot of difficult matchups here in this top five at 115 pounds, wrestlers, former champions. But right now, Zhang Wei Li, will be favored to beat all of them. She's got another stern test in front of her tonight. All right, so here is the all-time great, the UFC Hall of Famer, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Of course, she took part in the first women's fight in UFC history back at UFC 157. Went on to fame and fortune, her legacy as well established as any woman in the game. I met Ronda Rousey back at the Olympics in 2008 as a young girl became an Olympic bronze medalist. That was unheard of for someone to do that. And she took that star power and that ability to grapple and applied it right to a mixed martial arts career where she not only captured the UFC title, but also defended it on a number of occasions with her patented arm bar. Every time Ronda fought, people tuned in, they loved it, it was always exciting. And some wondered if she would ever make this walk again. Well, here is Ronda Rousey back in this arena and if her pre-fight talk is any indication, she's got a point to prove here tonight. All right, without further delay, let's get you tonight's tale of the tape. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> If you do fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Whaley Magna John. And now introducing your opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter holding a professional record of. 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC women's back and weight champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. like every time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. Houston's got another one in store tonight. Yes, tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on a show there. Velasquez and Tosanto put on a show there. Will you be remembered like we had at the Toyota Center? Told you off the top, she's got the longer reach and certainly made good use of it in landing that straight punch there. Nice punch, Lance. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
Rousey gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, nicely done early here with the takedown. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Got clipped with the right hand. Jones looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, you got to stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Man, she's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here, just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, she gives up her back here. So a case of pick your poison, and now she's gonna have to work hard defensively to prevent the fish. Well, she's gotta protect her neck. That's the first thing. She's gotta really be a... Rousey's trying to lock up on a submission now. Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh. It's in there deep. There you go. And there it is. Oh. Woo. What a performance. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round, DC. She certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Brody Lanka! There she is. A lot of people felt like this fight was destined to go the distance. She had other ideas. She said that if this fight went to the ground, it did not matter how good her opponent is. She was going to submit her. She did exactly that. She feels like she's levels above the rest of the game in the ground.